Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben and if you've been wondering where I've disappeared in the past week or two, well, wonder no more because I'm going to tell you. Uh, what I had is um, a system failure, in other words, my computer gave up on me, so rest in peace. Thanks for three or four good years of entertainment, but it's now time to move on. I've got you replaced. And today we're gonna be playing Dungeon Hunter 5. I've been playing to play, I've been waiting, waiting to play this game for so long, so I'm pretty excited and I hope you guys are too. Likes and comments are always much, much appreciated. And I've got some pretty exciting announcements coming up at the end of this video, so stay tuned and let's do this! We have a new contract from the Valen military. They want us to stop an elusive thief by the name of Sankus. Straightforward. There's more. There have been other contracts out on him, multiple ones in fact, and they all claim to have ended with his death. Stabbed to death, arrow to the eye, drowned, poisoned, hung, the list goes on. Can't be another undead, can it? I'll have to see for myself. So, first things first, this game just came out about a week ago, uh, it is free to download on uh, Android and iOS devices, I will leave a download links in the description below, it is a hack and slash slash RPG uh, game, I feel like I'm saying slash too much, but I am fan of Guns N' Roses so go figure. I've done a video for uh, Android GameSpot, so if you guys want to see the intro of this game, I'll you should be seeing a link on your screen right now. But it basically starts with you picking your name, a class and a weapon. There are many weapons to, to pick from, for instance, uh, a sword, long sword, double sword, spear, etc, etc. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Where are you? I am using the dream road to save you from the fall. In this manner, I speak over any distances. And I'm using the YouTube road. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're just uh, slaying some evil villains. Oh, snap! Where you going, buddy? Come back here. Alright, so we can, uh, you can see that you can destroy uh, enemies and pick up gold. You can also destroy objects sitting on the... The thing is, you can't tell which one is interactive and which one is not. So what you end up doing is going like a madman, like I just did right now. Uh, swinging your sword in every direction, in every way. But that's okay, I'm fine with that. Ooh, a chest. I'm also wondering guys, what are you playing right now? What games are you playing on your Android or, or iPhone or iPad? Let me know in the comments section. So we have a melee weapon, which is the sword we are swinging right now. We also have a long range weapon, which is some sort of a powerful magic ball that you can just uh, uh, throw at your uh, enemies. You can also heal yourself. As you can see on top of the, the yellow thing is the magic ball. And on top of it is uh, healing potions. And if you are wondering what is new in this sequel compared to uh, Dungeon Hunter 4, well, they added uh, cooperative gameplay. In other words, you can hire your friends or other players to help you out in missions and to kill uh, bosses and whatnot. Guilds make uh, their appearance. You can also. Uh, there's also a wider range of options to customize your weapons and armors and uh, of course higher or better graphics. So yeah, they're all good improvements uh, in my opinion. If you guys have tried the game, let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, what do you prefer between Dungeon Hunter 5 and uh, Darkness Reborn. Me personally, I can't really tell uh, right away. I've uh, obviously I've played Darkness Reborn for a lot longer than I played this game, so I want to give it. I don't want to uh, be biased. I want to give it some time and, and see how how I feel about it later on down the road. And where is this guy we're looking for? Oh, 
rising in the city. This is very worrisome. You've read my mind, sister. It is very worrisome indeed. This bridge looks like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Hopefully not while we're on top of it. I bet you those guys are gonna get up. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Classic trick from the undead. Am I right? <laughs> Who are you tricking? No one. Undead villains, you are tricking no one. Oh! Get out of here. Give me my gold. Okay, there's one left. Over there. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Oh! In the name of God, I will strike you down. Well, hello there. So, this is the boss of the mission. And he's green. Reminds me of the green arrow. He's kind of dressing like him as well. But I'm supposing it's because he's poisonous, so we don't want to uh, play too much with him. Let's try to get rid of him as soon as possible. He's almost there. A few more hits. Take that power ball. Okay, so that's the spirit. We gotta kill it before it reaches the body. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Did we do it? Our base has been attacked. We have to head back immediately. All right. So once you complete every mission, you get to gain uh, XP, gold, gems, and loot that you can use either to equip your uh, hero or to um, upgrade your weapons and armors and whatnot. And also, I don't know if you guys realize it, but we're really, really close to uh, hitting 500 subscribers. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are too. Next week, I will be announcing the giveaway prizes and, and how to enter. So make sure to tune in next week. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week and keep playing. We were betrayed. Don't speak. No time. You... You are the guild master now. Who did this? Don't... Trust... Edward, then we haven't a moment to lose.